Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to my channel, Kudaparshala. Today I will teach you unique and exceptional rules of voice. And I have written almost 10 sentences here. And first sentence is I may help you. So uh, actually uh, there uh, is a question on your mind. Why am I telling unique and exceptional rules of voice? Actually uh, there is a bundle of unique and exceptional rules we will be exposed today at first first sentence i may help you subject may these are modal auxiliary verb and what is modal auxiliary verb may might can could shall should will would need must dare these are modal auxiliary and when modal auxiliary are used in the sentence after 100% times, 100 times, uh, main verb will be used. Modal auxiliary plus main verb. So, I may help you. This is object. And here, voice change. Uh, this is active voice. And I will be transformed into passive. So, you. You. You and me when we will watch may might can could shall should these type of modal auxiliary verb obviously uh, we have to use same verb may and including be may be might be uh, must be so you may be help there will be used main verb of past participle form verbs of main verb so you may be helped by subjective object and this is complete he killed himself himself this is interesting word himself himself themselves um ourself and uh, including self these words are reflexive pronoun so himself will not be selected as a subject ever so he subject or same will uh, will be in act uh, passive form obviously he killed it's a past form so we uh, are we will use was auxiliary verb he was killed this verb will be same here um, he was killed and i will include by and himself are same and there is no change there is no changing places a subject uh, use our subject place this place uh, subject is used and auxiliary verb verb 3 uh, um, obviously verb 3 that means past participle form of verb and by himself and this is obviously exceptional rules of voice because uh, there is no change subjective object subject you are used as a subject there is no change and number three i gave him a book here we can watch double object and when we will get double object uh, which object we will take as a subject when we will uh, transform passive him a book him is a pronoun and a book is a thing so you have to take pronoun at first and this is preferable you can take um, uh, second object um, think but it's preferable you can take you have to take pronoun as a subject so him subjective objective subject he he was gave is a past form he was given given gave given is the past participle form of give he was given a book by me of subjective object i me okay and i annoyed me fourth number sentence annoyed and there is obviously ex exceptional rules here me first i will select objective subject i annoyed it's a past form so was i will take was 
annoyed is a past um, form and past participle form are same of annoyed uh, annoy word so i was annoyed and here there is exceptional system we can take by no we never take by actually we will use with preposition instead of by we'll take with with m me with him sorry here subject is he with him okay he annoyed me i was annoyed with him and uh, you can use by preposition but when you uh, will use by preposition obviously it will be wrong for you hundred times it will it will be wrong for you because annoyed and with these are i obviously obviously i use with preposition with annoyed word and five number sentence i know that he did the work i know that he did the work there is complex if sentence two sentences here and at first it is principal clause and this is uh, i know uh, it's subordinate clause and he did the work it's a principal clause and two clause based it's a complex if sentence so um how we like uh, transform this form obviously obviously you have to think about it and you have to think first we have to change two sentences here two portion we have to change at first i know that is a conjunctional word obviously and uh, reply um, uh, relative pronoun also so i know before that there is no object so i will use actually uh, we have to use it and it will be used as an introductory it actually we can say uh, it and we obviously we say that uh, it is introductory it when there is no object we can found we never found object obviously we will use introductory it and i know there is no object there is no object so i can use it and i know it's a present sentence so i obviously uh, i will use a present tense auxiliary verb it is no known is the past participle form of no it is known and to there will not be used by because to is the perfect and appropriate preposition of known word so it is known to me that that will be same here and second portion and we have to change uh, changed obviously second portion also he did the work and here subject here object uh, we can uh, watch this subject and object uh, will be present here so at first we will cho choose the work as a subject the work was done did done is the past participle form of do so that the work was done by him objective subject this is complete and six number sentence panic sees the writer this is very important sentence and here will be used another preposition instead of by so we can complete the writer objective subject at first we have to change the writer the writer okay the writer seized is a past form so we can use auxiliary verb as a past tense the writer was seized the writer was seized and we have to use here with instead of by so the writer was seized with panic and if you think you can use uh, with instead of by uh, by instead of with but it will be hundred times wrong because seized 
obviously with is the appropriate preposition for seized he is sur he surprised me he surprised me number seven he surprised me and there will be obviously another preposition will be used here he surprised me okay at first i will um i will be i will change subject objective subject me i i surprised is the past form i was surprised and obviously obviously i will use at preposition instead of by i was surprised at him and we can never use by preposition here obviously i have to use at preposition we have to use at preposition all the time and number eight the car was sold and this is what's form here this is the car was sold this is passive form and now we will change passive to active the actually passive to active yeah the car was sold passive to active okay the car and there is no object here so we have to make another objective subject and we will create another object uh, subject objective subject the car was sold okay the man we can take any kind of um, objective subject because there will not be mentioned there is no mention um, object so we can take any kind of uh, appropriate objective subject so the man the man the car was sold it's past indefinite tense and we will use past indefinite structure so the man sold the car it's very easy passive to active the man sold the car complete this session and number nine the thief was caught it's obviously passive to active form we have to transform passive to active form and the thief was caught and we will make we will uh, take another uh, object tip subject because there is no found uh, there is no found uh, object so we can take any kind of objective subject so the thief was caught and police is appropriate subject here for the police the police caught because it's uh, there is using past indefinite tense so simply past tense will be used here the police caught by the police caught the thief the police caught the thief and here it's obviously interesting uh, sentence honey test sweet and it's a very exceptional rules and uh, actually it's a uh, unique uh, rules also because uh, actually yeah, it's uh, it's not uh, are used as usual uh, rules here that's a different rules so we'll be um, uh, using here honey taste sweet honey taste sweet and sweet actually uh, it's an adjective and adjective uh, um, actually there will not be used as a subject here so honey taste sweet sweet we will use it introductory it and i um, before i say it introductory it and it's an important part of english grammar introductory it when we'll never found subject or object we will use introductory it it we can use as a subject so there is no um, object because we can um, we watch it's a uh, adjective so we can use it it is sweet okay sorry 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 we uh, use here subject honey subject is uh, same here honey is sweet and we will use here exceptional word when when 
and we use here introductory it when it is tested and I am using is auxiliary verb here because tests is a pres present indefinite tense here so it is tested honey is sweet when it is tested and second sentence are the same rice is cheap and uh, same uh, type of uh, sentence here rice is cheap rice sells cheap sentence active sentence and will tense transform to passive rice is cheap when we can use it is sold and this is complete unique and exceptional rules of voice so okay viewers thank you for watching this video and i am trying and i will try and i have tried actually to learn you to teach you uh, unique and exceptional things of english grammar very easily so please uh, keep watching this channel and subscribe my channel thank you allah first